everybody welcome to this video here in g4g on youtube today we are in the legion beta <clears throat> and we're going to be discussing some new mounts that will be coming in the game as a matter of fact as you can see with this druid over here he is riding one of the new fox mounts which is lothan the prowler so let's go ahead and jump right into it now if you transfer a character or create a character here in the beta, you will get access to tons of mounts that you probably could only dream of, like, say, the Solar Spirehawk, and the Void Talon of the Dark Star and everything. But, all the new Legion mounts, if you do a preformed character way down past that, and you can actually see them in the live version of WoW today, if you look at your uh, mount list. So, I mean, the game, when it, whenever you're doing the beta, the game just gives you tons of stuff. Like this one, this with our high cliff stomper and everything. So, let's go ahead and jump into some of the new ones over here. We have the Blood Fang Widow. Now, this is the one that is sold by the Mad Merchant. This is the one that is making quite a stir when it comes to the game. As it is going to be available for 2 million gold. And everybody was, there was a lot of controversy with this amount. A lot of people were like, wow, 2 million gold, who's going to get that and make that accessible and everything like that. And that's kind of the uh, no child left behind mentality of it. In all honesty, if you do things in the game that are worthy of recognition, such as PvP and, uh, you know, mythic modes and raids and everything like that, you should have something that is probably a little bit of a step above other people. I mean, if everybody could win a Nobel Peace Prize, what would be the value of it? So, the Blood Fang Widow is for people who are going to make just gobs and gobs of gold. Maybe make, you know, running the market or selling game time and everything like that. So, this one's probably going to cost about $2 million. We have this one, the Brine Deep Bottom Feeder. It is available through Conjure Margos. Uh, honored with this person in Dalaran and it costs a hundred blue fish nugget bubble things. Yeah, I'm not too sure what that currency is. And here he is, the Brine Deep Bottom Feeder. Uh, looks really cool. I mean, it's just it's like a giant whale slash catfish. Probably going to be a only underwater mount. Then again, I don't know yet in the beta what is going to be necessarily so underwater. So I'm not too sure how much use people are going to get out of it. And then we have some of these other ones, uh, like the collector's edition and the store ones. The beta won't give you. But here, we have the Fathom Dweller. This little... Gigant well, not little. This gigantic jellyfish. It drops from Cosmoth the Hungering. Deep within the hungering chasms of the Great Sea swarms the Fathom Dwellers. Uh, swarms of Fathom Dwellers sway like great floating carpets, sightlessly in the dark. And I actually have a pet version of it called a Bleakwater Jelly. Now, if we look on the map over here, I, I mean, it's it's up to you where this might come from. But then again, it could be like the waters here and. Uh, the Eye of Ashara. I mean, we don't honestly know yet where this comes from without uh, just, you know, a little bit of research for it. What I saw on the live server down in my mount list that made me say, hey, I think it's time to investigate this and do a video, was this one, the Fell Blaze Inferno. Infernal. It drops from Gul'dan in the Nighthold. There's going to be another version of this. I mean, that's just... It's so cool. It kind of looks like his head is trying to come out of a portal right in the middle of his body. And you can see right up here is where the saddle is going to be. Le likely this is going to be just another gigantic mount. Here we have the Fell Saber, which is the Demon Hunter exclusive mount, similar to the Chargers that the Death Knights got. So, pretty cool looking. And, of course, there is another version of this, and we'll see that a little later. Great Northern Elderhorn. Uh, there is leatherworking mounts currently available in uh, Warlords of Draenor, but here is the Legion version of it. One of the hardiest of species that inhabits the slopes of High Mountain. They can survive for months in the freezing blizzards. 
Grinning Reaver and the Grove Defiler are, well, the Grinning Reaver is just a store one, but here we have the Grove Defiler, which reminds me a lot of um, Dark Malfurion Skin and Heroes of the Storm. It is from the Glory of the Legion Raider for Dungeons and Raids, so this one uh, should be fairly accessible to people. Then we have the Hellfire Infernal, which is Gul'dan on Mythic Mode. That one's... I, I just... Trading the green up for this red... This blood lava red color. Here in the arms. And I mean, just that straight fire over here. This is awesome. And I gotta admit, at least for a mythic mode mount, they made this really... Really worth it. Uh, that's just amazing to see this mount. I would be proud to ever own a mount that looks like that. Of course, we have the Illidari Fellstalker, which is the Legion Collector's Edition. Infinite Time Reaver is for the Time Walking Dungeons, and that is a store one. Then we come to the Lay Feather Hippogriff. Glory of the Legion Hero Dungeon and Raid. So this one should be fairly accessible also, as it's going to come from Dungeon Achievements. And, you know, it's pretty cool. It has a Night Saber look to it. Typical Hippogriff mount, but just colored really nicely. Very ornate saddle. It's pretty cool. And then here we have the fox over here. Lothan the Prowler. And it, dro it drops from a quest called Vulpin the Elusive. These sleek foxes can prowl amongst newly fallen leaves without making a sound even at this size. It looks very cartoonish. I mean, this one looks like it's straight out of a, a Disney film. And it says that it's in Suramar, so it's probably going to be a quest somewhere in here moving on we have the long forgotten hippogriff and it drops in azuna also pretty cool looks a lot like uh the dungeon one mechanized lumber extractor this is i'm not too sure about this one it's an achievement called remember to share um for the toy boxes i think it's maybe getting up to more than 100 toys or something. I haven't looked into this, but that's that's pretty cool. But we do have similar ones. Of course, Minion the Grumpus came from Winter Vale. And we know about the Mystic Rune Saber, which is the in-game shop. Pretty cool looking, I gotta admit. Then we have this interesting one over here that looks cartoony just like the fox. It's Rat Stallion. Achievement Underbelly Tycoon from the category Broken Isles. Years of chain chugging potions in Dalaran sewer system have allowed him to grow to large allowed him to grow large agile and shatter resistant so this is a one giant rat and that's it's pretty cool though spirit of ichiro profession archaeology the spirit of hulan high mountains pet moose so it looks like almost all the professions are getting some kind of amount that is unique to them you know, it used to be tailors had the carpets and jewel crafters uh, had the sabers and everything like that. And now engineering is getting it and leatherworking is getting it. So that's that's pretty cool. Steel Mountain Destroyer is the blacksmith and core hound. Only the sturdiest forged chains can restrain this beast. So it's the core hound mount that we got from doing Ragnaros in Warlords and Draenor a couple of years ago. And, uh, same model, just a foul version of it. Not like we aren't going to be seeing a lot of green fell here. Another in-game shop item, that's the one that came out in Pandaria. And then the Warforged Nightmare, of course, is the Hitching Post one, and there's the Winged Guardian. So there is a look at some of the new mounts that are going to be coming in Legion. Uh, if I had to pick a favorite... I would say that Red Infernal, uh, that one is, I mean, that's just cool. This Bloodfang Widow, uh, I've seen the graphics of this. A human sitting in this thing does look pretty cool. I don't know about the other races. Uh, I actually like this one. I don't know when I would ever wind up using it. I mean, I don't use my seahorse mount, like, ever anymore but this one does look pretty cool and it's unique i kind of like the fox one too but i would say if you know i reached into a grab bag and can only get one of these mounts what one i would hope it for 
it's it's the mythic version of this Fellblaze Infernal. Uh, the Fell Saber is okay. Uh, you know, I already have a moose like that. This Grove Deviler is pretty cool, but this Hellfire Infernal is awesome. I would definitely love to go for that that mount. That would be the mount that I would be the most happy to own. But, you know, there's some of the mounts in the game. Of course, I'm sure there's going to be more that drop from achievements and maybe other mobs out there in the world. But there's a look at some of the ones that we're going to be uh, getting when the game goes live. Thanks a lot, people. Hope you enjoyed the video and take care.